Now, this illustration deals with panel boards, switches, and so forth, uh, where you're entering with conductors in a S, Z, or L bin in accordance with uh, NEC 408.3G is in great. Now, notice when you review the illustration to the left, that's an L bin. You bring it in and you bend it in an L. That is an easier bend to terminate because you can pull it towards you, you can stab it easy, uh, and your clearance rules is not as great. Now, the, one, the bends to the... Um, uh, right there are what we would call uh, Z-bends or S-bends, and your uh, Z-bends are very difficult to terminate if you don't have the appropriate space. So let's take a look at uh, what space is re uh, requ required based upon how you bend those conductors, L-bend, Z-bend, or S-bend. Now notice the uh, first uh, question in the problem is uh, what are the minimum uh, clearances between the uh, terminating lugs and the side of a panel board supplying an l bin using 250 kc mil copper conductors? Well, the table that is used for the l bin is table 312.6a. And notice, with that 250 kc mil coming in, with an L bin, it's four and a half inches from the lug to the bottom of that enclosure. And uh, the industry calls that an L bin, which you can read about it in 408.3G in the text. Now, the next uh, question basically is asking, uh, what would be your distance for that S or Z bin? Well, uh, in step one, now you're using table 312.6B as in boy instead of 312.6A as in apple. Now, using the same size conductor, 250 kc mil per lug, eight and a half inches is required from the termination uh, of the lug, say, uh, uh, down uh, to the uh, enclosure, uh, the bottom of the enclosure, so to speak. Now, you can see you need more space to do your bending. Uh, and, and that's what this is kind of illustrating uh, uh, here. You got an L bend there and you got an S or a Z bend uh, to the right. And this illustration is illustrating that based upon the type bend, you need a minimum distance and you need a greater distance for the S or Z bend in relationship to the L-bend, and that's what this, illustr this illustration is illustrating. 